YouTube, what is happening, man? It's the kid Zed back at again with another video, man. If you're new here, man, be sure to smash the like and subscribe button down at the bottom. And if you're not new, thank you for tuning in to yet another video. It's because of you guys. I keep on going. Uh, today's gonna be a little kick call, man. I've been trying to find some Pokemon cards, man, but no luck. But I'll show you. I'll start off with my first thrift find, man. If you guys are new here, man, I do kick pickups, uh, thrift pickups, Ross pickups, Burlington pickups. I got some sad news for you guys, man. But Burlington no longer does no tax, man. Um, I my cousin was telling me about it, and uh, she was just like, "Yeah, did you guys see on Facebook that they're not going to be doing no tax on at Burlington no more?" I was like, "Why?" And so we went there, and I asked, and I was like, "Yo, hook me. Or is it true you guys are do no longer doing no tax?" And the guy was just like. We found out because we're not on the reservation, we're not supposed to be given no tax. And I was like, oh. And which makes sense because, like, all the stores around here, they give us no tax because they're located on the reservation. Um, but he was like, yeah, we're probably going to have to pay all that back. And I was like, was that was there that many people in there that actually, you know, used the no tax? I felt like it was just me. But anyways, we'll start off with the thrift finds before we get into the Burlington finds. I picked these up at Goodwill... Um, last, like, maybe on Tuesday, Monday, they, they just appear to be ashy. Well, when, I wish I had the before, uh, picture. They look super bad. They look dirty as heck. Uh, the back had a couple, uh, I don't know what they were, stains, like something spilled on them. But I did do a session under the, I did do a session in the ice box. Here's the other side. I do have the sway treatment coming in to give it life again if it's me personally i'd rock it with the ashy look because these don't look too bad but i don't know this is a size seven and a half so seven and a half so if any of you guys are seven and a half and would like these let me know in the comments below i don't know what to go with uh i'll go with the clearance one first so i scored these at burlington uh a few days back um I, they've been in my possession for a while and i've been watching these on at Burlington for a while and I thought it was a dope color um I think they went at $35 yeah $35 at first but we went in there at random and they was $21.99 which I thought was a pretty good price so I copped them I actually put these on and they're actually pretty comfortable I never tried a Montel then um you guys don't know Puma stepping it up man they got J. Cole on the squad uh is it Lamello Lamello Ball yeah, Alonzo Ball's with the Pelicans, Jellos. He was with the Pistons, but they let him go. Yeah, so it'd be Lamelo Ball with the Hornets. They just signed him while well, they signed him during the summer before, you know, the NBA started up again. But these are actually pretty fire, man. Uh, they're pretty comfortable. I, I kind of wish I did see it, or I wish I did get 11 and a half, or 11, because these are 10 and a half. They're kind of snug, but pretty cool shoe, man. There's the famous, you know, Puma Stripe. Um, my nose wants to start running every time, but I'm going to start off with this, this next shoe right here, man. This shoe is actually pretty fire in my opinion, man. And it's pretty crazy that I came across these, man, because when I picked them up, I thought it was a Chuck Taylor, but it wasn't. Um, it's these things right here. Look at their embroidery. It says sneakers right there. Got a suede upper. These rubbers is what sold me, man. This is what made me think it was, uh, you know, Chuck Taylor. And then you have that same sneakers emblem stitching on the inside it's pretty cool that it's stitched on the inside but it's kind of like pressed on on the side pretty cool sneaker then you have it right there i do not know what the heck these are man so if anybody could help me out please comment i didn't even th think to go to that site right there that's my first time actually seeing this these are a size 10 after you guys see how much i paid for them just the build quality alone man like look at that then uh you have the sneakers on the inside after you guys see the price on how much I paid, man, you guys will be like, what? But I tried to go back and look for more, man. I could not find any of them. But there's how much I paid for them. $12.99 for a well-constructed shoe, man. I honestly put these on, and they were comfortable, man. I tied them and everything. I'm looking forward to wearing these, man. Here's the price on the thing. It says $199 to... 99 to 69 to 12.99 which is a pretty good price man i like this suede upper i feel like it's gonna get dirty easy but sh with shoes like this they tend to look good beat up like this uh so that's the third pair i picked up i want to say i picked up those fives after these yeah um this next pair i've been watching these at ross or burlington for a couple days now 
and I don't know, like a while since, what is it, Jan January, February? And I want to say I seen these back at Ross in maybe November, December. And I thought it was a pretty good price. Let me see how much the price was. The price was $34.99. And I thought that was a pretty good price because, you know, it's Boost. And when I seen these Pumas, I copped those the day before this. But I don't know. I go to Burlington every day. Um, and I seen them. And I was like, oh, snap, I forgot all about these. Uh, cool little three stripes. The thing that catches my eye with this is the boost, man. You guys remember when boost was real and the hype was real on these? But this is a cool little basketball shoe. Like I said, the price was $34.99. But when I went back, I like the tongue the stitched in Adidas. These are a size 11. But when I went back the next time, they were on clearance for $17.99. So I picked these size 11s up for $17.99. This is a, I'm looking forward to playing ball in these, man, because, you know, our, our town that about three miles down, four miles down, actually put up three basketball hoops and they actually got the rims on them. This is a pretty clean looking shoe. It feels kind of heavy, but it's to be expected. You know, it does have boost. So they're probably pretty comfortable to play ball in the, like the ankle part, the ankle support has a nice cushion to it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that on camera, but I don't know. It looks pretty cool, you know, and you can't complain for it. You know, $17.99, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, here's the name of them. So you guys can look it up. What the heck? Felt like a... What you call it? Uh, what the heck is it called? A notification for like Fortnite or something. Um, but this last item, man. This last item was pretty cool, man. This is my first time ever finding something like this. Um, of this sort. Well, I guess not of this sort. I did find that, you know, North Car North Carolina Jordan jacket. That was pretty cool. But this thing right here, I always see people post on IG about them. And I've always wanted to find one because they cop them for a steal. Like some of them are like seven, eight dollars. And they flip them for like almost two hundred dollars. So I kind of seen this tucked away. Um, let me fi fix the sleeves. I kind of seen this tucked away. And well, I looked at the shirts and the jackets and stuff. And I was like, yo, man, I was all, what the heck? I was all, there's nothing. I think they had like a Nike jacket, but that's about it. But on the other aisle, the next lane over, they had three of these. And I checked the sizes. Let me see what this is. They were all size 52, or two of them were 52. And the other one was like 48 or, or 62 or something. I don't know. It was a big, bigger size. But I looked at the price. I was like, yo, man, I can't leave this. So here it is. Pretty clean Detroit jersey, man. This is my first time ever actually finding one of these. Um, has the authentic? I looked up uh, on the site, uh, Detroit Red Wings. I looked up the thing on the actual site, and for a similar one like this, but it was like a off one, is like white and gray. It was a hundred and eighty dollars, man. Just look at that, like the patch, man. Like that looks pretty clean. Like I dig that. And for, I'll show you how much I paid right here. So this is how much I paid. I paid $14.99. And when I did get the money for the rest of them, I went back the next day and they were all gone. So this thing right here is pretty cool. Got the Adidas logo on the back. Oh, uh, what else does it have? Has the cool little, I don't know what this is. I don't know much about hockey. I'm not going to sit here and be like, yo, I'm a hockey expert. Has the Adidas uh, logo right there. There's the deal. Yeah, man, I thought this was pretty cool, man, because I always see people post on IG about these. And they're like, yo, man, I, I just scored this. It's it's a no-name. Uh, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know anything about uh, hockey, if it did have a name, I probably wouldn't have copped it because I wouldn't know if they was on the team. Because the majority of the jerseys that people find at Ross, uh, are, like, names or people that no longer are with the team, so they just send them the Ross. But, yeah, man, this is a pretty cool, you know, red, red sleeve with the white stripe. Pretty clean jersey, you know, if I, if it really goes for 180, man, that's gonna be nuts. So, if you like it, man, it does have the... Tags. I don't know if those matter to you. Yeah. So that is today's vid. I think I I believe I checked out what a 52 is. I think a 52 is a large. Yeah, I think it's a large. But yeah, man, that's my cool little kick call, man. Which one was your favorite? Was it the Boost? Would you play ball on these? Was it the Sneaker? 
shoes for oh wrong side. the Pumas comment down below or was it the uh, Jordan 5 there's my thumbnail oh that's fire but let me know in the comments below what was your favorite cop of this little haul me personally um it's probably these because I scored these um, pretty clean I did the ice on the uh, did the session in the ice box I only paid $7.99 for these so I feel like this was a steal especially after the suede treatment comes in and I could get the ashy look away and get it back to black I feel like this is going to be a pretty clean shoe I washed the insoles but yeah that's probably my favorite pickup if anything if it has to be like from the department store I'm going to have to say these things are pretty cool man this is pretty fire in my opinion especially that then that sheesh this is a all around clean look man i love that it looks like a chuck taylor but it's not a chuck L taylor but yeah man that is today's vid man like i said if you're new here please consider smashing the subscribe button like the video if you can man that helps me out so much and if you're not new thank you for tuning in to yet another video it's because of you guys i keep on going until next time i'll see you guys later